Hello and welcome everyone to the video on method overloading in Java by IntelliPad. So in this video, we will explore what method overloading is in Java. Then we will try to understand this with the help of example and the implementation on VS Code. And finally, we will look into the advantages of method overloading. But before we dive, make sure to subscribe to our IntelliPad YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So before any further delay, let's get started. We will start by understanding the method overloading in Java. So what is method overloading? We can simply define method overloading as the two or more methods which have the same name but their different parameters. If the definition is not clear to you guys, then don't worry. We will try to understand this with the help of examples. But before that, let me tell you the different ways of method overloading in Java. The very first one is changing the number of parameters and the second one is changing the data types of parameters. So in changing the number of parameters, it can be achieved by just changing the number of parameters or arguments while passing to the different methods. And in changing the data type of parameter, it can be simply achieved by changing the types of parameters or arguments while passing to the different methods. Now let's try to understand this with the help of example. Suppose if you want to find the product of two numbers that is A and B. So here we have declared a method named product and we are passing two integers A and B as a parameter and returning the product of A and B. Similarly, suppose if you want to find the product of three integers, that is a, b and c, what will you do? We can simply use the same method that we used for the finding the product of two integers. Here we can see that here we are finding the product of two integers, but here we are finding the product of three integers and we are using the same product. So here we can simply return the product of three integers, that is a, b and c. So this is what the method overloading in Java by changing the number of parameters. See guys, if it is still not clear to you guys, then don't worry, we will try to understand this on VS Code. So let's directly jump to the VS Code. Here we have a class, cal, and now suppose if you want to find the product of two numbers, so what will you do? You will simply write public int product. So this is the method view here we are writing named product and we will pass the parameters of integer type that is int a and int b now now what will you do you will simply return a and b so this is how we can simply find the product of two numbers so here we have this is the method product and we are passing two integers a and b as a parameter and we are returning the value as a product of a and b here we can see that suppose here if a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 4 now let's try to execute the code and see the output. Here we can see that the 8 is printed. How? When we multiply 2 and 4, we will get the product as a 8. Now suppose if you want to find the product of 3 numbers. So simply you can do public int product1. Here we can see that here we are declaring another method name product1 and we are passing arguments into it that is int a comma int b and int c and now what we will do we will simply return the product of a b and c b and c now here we have to pass a 3 value like and uh, suppose we want to find the product of 2, 4 and 6 but here we can see that in the method product we are passing 2 arguments and in method product 1 we are passing 3 arguments so here we have to take product 1 now let's execute the code and see the output here we are getting some error where let's try to find out. So it's product. Now let's run the code. Here we can see that the value is coming 48 that is product of three number that is 2, 4 and 6 is coming 48. But let me tell you guys here we are using the product 1 method and here we have initially the method is product. 
so can you see uh, we are declaring another method that is product and product one so we have to read lots of documentation the readability of code may decreases so what we will do we will simply remove one and let's try to execute the code here remove one so the, both the methods are same now what do you think it will run the code or not let's try to execute the code and see are we getting the output see here we are getting the 48 what does this mean here this is what the overloading in java here we have a method name product which is taking two integers as a parameter but here the same method it is taking three integers as a parameter so this we have already discussed so this is how the overloading works i hope now you guys are clear with this now moving forward we will look into the second types of method overloading that is changing the data types of parameter suppose if you want to find the product of two integers that is a and b so here we have declared a method named product and we are passing two integers as a parameter that is a and b and we are simply returning the product of a and b and suppose if you want to find the product of two floats that is a and b so what will you do will you again declare a method no here we don't have to do that because of the method overloading here we can use the same method that is product and we can simply pass two float as a parameter and we can return the result that is a product of a and b if these things are still not clear to you guys then don't worry we will try to understand this with the help of vs code here we have just seen the first type of method overloading that was changing the number of parameters that here we took the two parameters and here we took the three parameters but keeping the method same that was in both we have the product method now moving forward we will try to understand the second type of method overloading that was we have just saw the first type of method overloading that was changing the number of parameters that was in this we were having the two parameters a and b here we have just seen the first type of method overloading that was the changing the number of parameter that here we can see we were passing two parameters a and b and here we are passing three parameters but here we can see that we are keeping the method that is product same in both but now moving forward we want to see the another type of method overloading that was changing the data types so let's look into that first we will remove this now let's try to find that public tenant product here we are keeping the same method now we will try now we will type float data types into it as a parameter like float a comma float to e and float c now we will simply return the product of a b and c A, B, and C. Now one more thing we have to change here into float. Now here we can see that we haven't changed the method that is product. We are keeping the same method that is product, but we are changing the data types. That here we have integer data type, and here we have float data type. Now let's run the code and see the output. Here we can see that we are getting 48.0. That is a type of float data type. So that's all. I hope now you guys are clear with this. Now we will look into the advantages of method overloading. So the very first advantage is readability and reusability. So the method overloading improves the readability and reusability of the program. So what does this mean? Suppose you are writing a function again and again. Like for two arguments, you created one function and then for three arguments of the same data types, you created another function. So don't you think it will be a like miss and will reduce the readability of the program? Also, you don't have to write the new function multiple times. So you can simply reuse the function. Now on number two, we have the complexity of the program. So method overloading reduces the complexity of the program and using method overloading, programmers can perform tasks efficiently and effectively. 
So that's all we got in this particular video. I hope now you guys are clear with the method overloading in Java. So to see more updates like this, follow the Intelli Part YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers Java certification training course. Through this certification training course designed by top industry expert will help you master the Java programming language. We provide the best online training classes to help you learn OOPS concept, core and advanced Java, JDBC, objects and classes. As the part of training, you will get to work on real world industry projects. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition in IT industry. You can check the testimonial on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new height. So visit the course page link given in the description below and take a first step towards the career growth.